सब्सक्राइब टू स्वराज एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन The troubles don't seem to be ending for Facebook anytime soon. It was about the US presidential elections first but now the trouble is also brewing in India. Earlier this week law and IT minister Ravi Shankar Prasad wrote to Mark Zuckerberg accusing Facebook of having a bias against the right wing ideology of deleting pages that were somehow pro right wing or somehow related to the BJP. to take this issue further just on wednesday under the chairmanship of shashi tharoor a very prominent congress mp the department related standing committee on information technology which had mps from both the ruling party and the opposition parties they met facebook india's managing director ajit mohan the discussion lasted for over 2 hours and 20 minutes but it was focused on some key issues Firstly it was about making Facebook safer for women to handle derogatory behavior against women on the platform. Secondly it was about the misuse of platform when it came about spreading hate speech spreading fake news and lastly it was also about the entire fact checking initiative Facebook has been very proud of in its claims. Now the parliamentarians on both sides it was a keenly contested competition given you had parliamentarians from all the parties while the opposition MPs were quick to point out the hate speech made by Telangana MLA against a certain community or by Amit Shah even in Bengal the BJP MPs raised the issue of Sonia Gandhi's jibe the Arya Par ki ladai relevant to the CAA and what Facebook had done about it they also questioned Ajit Mohan on the issue of uh, Kanhaiya Kumar's hate speech when the JNU protests were on Of course Facebook had no answers to many of those questions. The other question that was raised in this meeting the third aspect was that of the fact checking initiative. Already the law and IT minister had made this point that Facebook being such a huge organization why does it need to outsource the fact checking on its own platform to a third party? because a third party may come with its own set of biases against any ideology be it the right wing ideology or the left wing ideology in this case it was a bias against the right wing ideology and question was the international fact checking network committee or the ifcn as it's known as in and its head kanchan kaur miss kanchan kaur who has been making very visible remarks against the prime minister prime minister narendra modi that is and this was the whole question that someone who's trusted with the fact checking initiative of facebook which has over 40 crore users in india but has a visible bias against the prime minister how can they be expected to perform their jobs with complete integrity the other mps that were also part of the discussion included sunny deol it included mahua motra included rajwardhan singh rathod The discussion wasn't complete given Facebook has promised to submit answers to more than 150 questions in written and the tenure of the committee is coming to the end on September 12 so one cannot be entirely sure how the discussion with Facebook India would really proceed but at this point it's inter- imperative for the government rather to hold Facebook accountable for what it's doing to curb hate speech on its platform and more importantly what it's doing to make sure that the platform remains neutral for all pa- political ideologies irrespective of who remains in power thank you